no longer out in the Greek countryside and I've moved to the big city, I decided I needed a better mail setup because I'm going to be doing a lot of corporate stuff like that. And the way to do mail on the command line is with a program called Neomut. It's kind of notoriously difficult to set it up, but that's why there's a script by another deranged YouTuber, Luke Smith, that sets everything up for you. You just have to input your email and it finds like all the IMAP, SMTP, whatever, sets up GPG, all the inboxes, everything for you, which is kind of a massive headache without it. So if you look up um, Mutt Wizard, it has instructions to do everything. And you can see there's like a few things you need to get, but most of these are like pre-installed and it downloads emails offline and I'll just show you how it works. So to start Neomutt, you do NM and then it drops you into this great little interface and you can see you can scroll around at the Vim bindings, you can select stuff with space, um, you can delete things. So if I get rid of some old emails, I can do D or capital D rather. Oh, I guess, I guess that's not how you select things. I'm still getting used to this. And then to save those changes and actually move them to the deleted folder, you can do capital S and that'll say purge for deleted and go yes. And then if B to toggle this sidebar here, you can go control J and K to scroll these, control O to open them. Or you can just do, like if I want to go to trash, I could do G, T, and then I could go back with G, I to go to inbox. So that's pretty nice. You can inspect emails with L and H, it goes in and out. And then you can reply with R. And here's what sending mail looks like actually. So hit M and then I'll just send it to myself, I guess, him at sylvanfranklin.com. And then it'll prompt you for a subject down here. So I'll just do like test. And then it'll drop me into Emacs. And then right here, you can just type whatever you want. I'm just gonna type test again. And then let's quit out of that. And once you do, you'll see that there's this little dashboard that allows you to add attachments, allows you to change the subject, allows you to like copy other people. And there's always this help, help binding on the side, which is very helpful. And then, yeah, so once we're sure we wanna send this, hit Y. And it looks like it's sent off successfully. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you wanna sync your mail, there's a binding O that does this and it's it's going to run the mail sync command under the hood and that basically will just pull in new you can see it pulled in my latest email and it pulled in some other ones too um, so yeah that's basically all there is to it there's a lot of functionality within mutt wizard itself you can see this is one of the most well documented commands that I've ever seen. Luke Smith is very meticulous about this. It, it gives you tons of options to add and manage tons of different email accounts. You can have multiple on one. It allows you to put like the mail sync on a cron job so that your mail is constantly updating. And it's just so nice to have this be on the terminal and not have to like load up two terabytes of JavaScript to check email, like, especially Gmail. If you use that, it's like that Angular code base is colossal. Highly recommend setting this up. Mutt Wizard makes it so much easier. Um, and just read the full manual. If something breaks for you, which is kind of likely because there's like a lot of moving pieces to getting your, your mail set up, don't go spam the, the repo with issues. It's most likely like you haven't read the, the docs fully because he covers almost every possibility, except for like really weird email providers like iCloud Mail that no one uses anymore. So yeah, that's about it. Um, this video is sponsored by, just kidding, we don't do that here. I'll see you next time.